Welcome back to the second half of these studio practices. From the previous part 1 training, we have learned how to create a customized shelf that house all our most frequently used modeling tools. I would recommend you to revisit the part 1 training if you have not set up a shelf. Okay, in these sessions, I would like to demonstrate what are the meaning of a decent polygonal model that has a proper topological flow. Before we begin, I would like to share with you for some useful display settings that would help to improve our modeling workflow. First, let's create a polygon plane and I'll press the shortcut key F to zoom to the mesh. And uh, let's change the polygon inputs in the channel box. Try to lower down the subdivisions to 6. Next, we shall switch to a phase mode and uh, feel free to select any of these phases. Now, go to the mesh menu, click on the extract function. Then return to the object mode. Press Q or click on the selection tool to exceed the extract function. A new mesh has been created via extractions. Let's return the separated mesh back to its original position and uh, shift select these two meshes and simply click on the combine and switch it back to object mode. Okay, what we have done here is actually to replicate a scenario where you have a mesh that its vertices are not merged at all. In such a seamless conditions, it will be quite difficult or perhaps challenging to tell which are the vertices that are not yet merged. And it's not practical or a little bit insane for trying to select and examine the vertices manually. The feeling would be like, try to scan for landmark without scanner. And uh, you can't really detect it via H mode as well, except you know there's a break and you can activate the separate functions to solve it. You could turn on the back face curling, but it won't help to solve it too. This is a very real situation where most beginners might be facing. And uh, this is where they were pulling their hairs and screaming at the tutors about certain edit mesh functions that fails to be rendered. Certainly, a function would fail to work if there's an anomaly in the mesh itself. Okay, the workaround solutions to detect and well with disease would be the display settings for polygon. Go to display, polygon, and click on the custom polygon display. Here, you would see there are a range of settings for vertices, edges, and polygon faces. Let's reset the setting first via the edit menu before we start. Actually, to detect the problematic areas, all we need to do is just uh, simply increase the border edges thickness. To do so, let's check on the border edges and change the edge width to 5 and press apply. You should be able to see all the bricks now. The border would goes off if the vertices are merged. Let's look at these demonstrations. Besides the thickness for the border edges, we could increase the size of all vertices point as well. Let's change the vertex size to 5 and click Apply. You will notice the vertices are much bigger now. It has better visibility and are much more easy to be get selected. Okay, let's switch our edge width to 4 as it looks good enough from here. Next, you could turn on the back face curling over here too. With a mere setting of ONT, 
we were not able to see the wireframes of the mesh. So let's switch the options to keep wire and click apply and there you go. Just a quick note, all newly created mesh would not inherit all our previous display settings and are not even a back face curling. The back face curling here is quite different from the viewport setting. To regain the setting, you would need to activate the polygon display again. Sometimes it's quite troublesome for repeatedly accessing these menus. Actually, we could simply add a polygon display as a shortcut to our shelf. Same goes with the back face curling setting too. It can be added to our shelf as well. This would be much convenient where the display setting could be toggled via a single click from the shelf. And do remember to go to the curling options for checking on the keep wire feature. And that's all for the demonstration for display settings.